Carmen from New Leaf Designs and welcome to this tutorial video. We are going to start the first lace chart of my Cozy Moments shawl for our Valentine's make-along, the Val Mal, and I'm gonna take you through the chart. Now, uh, knitting charts I find them really easy to read, but they do take a little bit of getting used to. So um, this is a really easy pattern. I'm just looking at the chart um, right behind my camera there. So um, we are going to use knit stitches, purl stitches, yarn over, knit two together and slip slip knit. Now I'm going to take you through rows one through four of the chart and uh, so we're starting at row 14 of the pattern and you can see that I've just put in my lifeline. Here it is, the little pink cotton thread. If you don't know how to put in a lifeline just go check out my videos on lifelines. I'll um, I'll put it in the same playlist so you can find it really easy because a lifeline will really help you if you are new to lace knitting and say you make a mistake and then you can easily rip back until that point so, do you, so you don't have to start all over again. All right, so let's get knitting. All right, so here I have my little baby shawl and we're gonna start with row 14, which is also row one of the chart. So I'm just knitting those four stitches before the marker like we do on every row, then slipping the marker to the right needle. And now we're going to start looking at the chart. I'll put it on the screen as well for you. So you can see that the chart is eight stitches wide and there's a red box of four stitches wide and that is the repeat. Now there's one stitch to the right hand side of that red box and that's our very first stitch. That's just the one stitch that we're going to be knitting before starting the repeat. It's a purl stitch which is indicated with the black dot in the box. So we're going to purl. Next up, so we're going to um, we're going to be knitting the repeat now. We're going to be knitting the repeat until three stitches before the marker. So following the repeat in the red box, we purl two as there are two black dots, right? Then a yarn over, which is just putting your yarn over your needle. I'm going to show you the next repeat uh, when I'm knitting with my right hand. So if that's easier for you. Then we're gonna do a slip a slip knit and the slip slip knit you slip two stitches individually from each other so not at the same time and then you knit them together and that makes a left slanting decrease which is why it's um, shown as a left slanted stripe on your um, repeat on your chart i mean so now i'm going to show you the same repeat with the yarn in my right hand so i'm going to take it forward for the purl stitches i'm going to purl two now i'm going to yarn over and uh, a yarn over looks different depending on which stitch you have done and which which stitch you are going to do but in this case we have just done a purl stitch and we are going to do a slip slip knit so we're just going to drape the yarn across the top of the needle like this and then we're going to slip slip and knit and actually you can do the yarn over at this point it doesn't matter if the yarn slips back to the front so we're gonna go behind and then wrap your yarn so you can knit those two together and that's how you did the repeat so I'm just gonna knit until the end of this row I'm gonna show you a couple more times it's a really easy lace pattern
there. And now I only have three stitches left. So I've completed the chart or I've completed the repeat section for this chart. And now I'm gonna work the three stitches to the left of that red box. So, and those are three purl stitches. So I'm gonna purl those, then slip the marker and knit the four stitches at the end. Now for the wrong side row of this chart, um, you will need to read the stitches differently. So I'm just gonna knit those four stitches before the marker and I'll show you what I mean. So for the wrong side row, we're gonna be reading the chart left to right and as you see, there are three purl stitches there, but on the wrong side row, a purl stitch or a black dot actually signifies a knit stitch if you're knitting on the wrong side. So we're going to be knitting three. And then we have two empty squares, which on the right side signify a knit stitch, but on the wrong side, they signify a purl stitch. So we're going to purl two. And then our two next stitches in the repeat are purl stitches on the right side, which means they are knit stitches on the wrong side. And that's going to be our repeat. So we need to purl two, knit two, and this will become more uh, apparent as you go because you will see that there are knit columns and purl columns forming on the on the wrong side so it will be more intuitive to knit in the pattern right and that last stitch uh, is a purl stitch on the right side, which makes it a knit stitch on the wrong side. And slip that marker and knit those four stitches. So, updating our row counter. We're going to move on to row three of the chart, which is very similar to row one. All right, so as in row one, there is one stitch before the repeat, which is a purl stitch. Then in the repeat, we have two purl stitches. And then we have a new stitch, a knit two together, and then a yarn over. So knit two together, you have your two stitches and you insert from left to right through both front loops. So insert through both front loops and knit and then you do a yarn over. Now for this yarn over you have to bring the yarn forward and then drape it across your needle because we just did a knit stitch so the yarn is at the back. Now we're going to do a purl stitch so you have to bring that yarn forward again to do the, to do the purl stitch. And now you will see that the yarn over is nice, nicely draped across your needle. Your yarn overs will always be a little bit slanted as opposed to the other stitches on your needle. So it's easy to recognize them that way. So I'm going to knit that repeat again. Oh, actually, I already did, already did the um, purl stitches of the repeat. But I'm going to do the knit two together with my right hand. So take that yarn to the back, insert your needle from left to right under both front loops, wrap your yarn around and pull through. And now for that yarn over, take your yarn forward, take it to the back across the top of your needle and take it forward again to do those purl stitches. Okay. 
Now your pattern won't look like much yet, but it will become more visible once you progress and um, then the pattern will show up. Right, so I just did my yarn over, which is the last stitch in the repeat. And now I'm going to do the three stitches to the left of that red box. And those are purl stitches. So I'm going to bring my yarn forward again. And finish those purl stitches. Now, I just did row 4, and as it is exactly the same as row 2, I'm not going to show it on camera. Um, but this is how your shawl looks after one repeat. And it doesn't look like much yet, So, <laughs> but the pattern will show up in the following rows. So you're going to knit 10 rows in total of this chart, which means you are going to do two repeats two full repeats of the chart, so one through four, and then again, which makes eight rows, and then you're going to do the first two rows once more, which makes ten rows. After that, you're going to do an increased row again, which is exactly the same as we've done before, knit from back into every stitch, then you're going to purl one row, and then on row 26, I will be recording my next video, which is the start of the next lace pattern. So I hope to see you back in that video. Uh, if you do share your pictures, because I love to see your shawls and your colors and your progress, just uh, share them in the Escape Use Facebook groups or on Instagram, and be sure to tag them with hashtag ValMal for the Valentine's make along and hashtag Cozy Moments Shawl. And if it's on Instagram, you can tag me as well. I'm at newleafdesigns.nl. And please, if you have any questions, please just ask them in the Scapies Facebook groups, and I will do my best to help you along, along with the admins and the other people knitting this shawl. We will have so much fun. Happy knitting, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.